Hello everyone, I'm Shinzo Machida and today I'm gonna talk to Lyoto how meditation can help us during the fight and also during our everyday life. Let's check it out. Meditation plays a big role in my life. Meditation fortifies my spirit. It improves my focus, my desire. When I fight, I try to empty my mind. It's called mushi. When you don't see anything around you, you only see that moment. Nothing else matters. Hello everyone, I'm here from the auto. We're gonna talk today about the meditation. How meditation can help us uh, during the, our everyday life and also how this you can apply the meditation during the fight. You know, to how, like, how long you meditation, like, uh, every day? You do every day, right, this meditation? So, I meditate every day, but more than this, the most important thing is not only the do a meditation, but what is important is you use your daily basis activities and meditate when you do that. For example, when you're gonna wash the dishes so it's important to exercise the state of meditation when you do that because when you just try to use all the sense that you have as a human being so you can smell taste touch feel feel and listen to so those those sense of uh, those sense you have to use all those sense to improve your all your capacity. So for example, if I'm gonna wash the, the dishes, so I try to listen to the water, I try to listen to when I when I drag the soap on the dishes. So all the single and little movement that happened in that in that action, I have to capitalize on that, I have to use that to help me out. When you do that, you forget the steps of doing that task. For example, someone that is washing the dishes, sometimes they think that's it's a, it's not a good job, it's not a, you know, a noble job. Just a task by the task. Right? Yeah, this, this is just a task. But when you use that to help you out, you forget the status of the activity that you are doing. You just focus in, in yourself. Like, how can I improve myself using that activity to help me out? And you can do that in so many situations of your life. When you're training, sometimes, when you wash the dish, when you wash the car, when you talk to your wife, when you sit, in, sit still and try to meditate. All those aspects is important to work on this type of thing that's gonna help you to be more present, to be more grounded. That's the most important thing when, you, when it comes to meditation. But people think that meditation is only about to sit still and try to forget everything. No, meditation is when you try to understand what is happening, what's going on in that moment. How can I, for example, if I sit here, I can feel the breathing, the breath, I can feel the oxygen when I inhale the air, when I exhale the air, I can feel that's going through my body and all the energy that I can use that. And also, where I, where I place my hand, how is my hand, I can feel the energy of my hand, I can try to listen to the beat of my heart. That's little things that gonna keep me in the present. That exercise gonna, I'll become more focused, which is gonna help me in everything. So people nowadays, they think they are connected because when it comes to social media, internet and everything, you are connected in different level. But when you are connected with yourself, like when you sit still, when you do activities daily basis and you can, uh, make the most of it in that every single situation 
you are very present. So you are the best version of yourself. That's the task when you talking about meditation. Be the best version of yourself. In order to do that, you got a training. It's all about habits and training. Like when you go to the gym and lift some weight, you're gonna train your muscle. Then you're gonna get strength. Same with your brain, same when you're talking about meditation. Yeah, actually it's like a, you mentioned about to be more deeper in the, in the moment, right? If you do something, doesn't matter if you eat, if you do like a lift weight, or if you wash the dishes, wash the car. So be more conscious what you are doing, correct? Exactly. Even like a small, any simple task, you have to keep that. Yes, because when you do that, so you can increase your focus. When you increase your focus, you are more present, you're more grounded. That's the main thing about meditation. Because people think, ah, why I have to meditate? Because meditation is, you're gonna have, like, all you have best of you gonna come out. Because you are very present, you are very focused. And that can help you, doesn't matter what you're doing as a professional, as a husband, as a, a father, a mother, or, or whatever, doesn't matter. When you do some specific situation, you are in this specific situation, you're gonna give your, your best. That's the purpose of, to stimulate it's that stage. And how this is can like uh, affect that, like uh, the, the sense of to be present, how this can affect your fight when you you fight, for example, your preparation. For example, you have a fight coming up now, right now. Like uh, how this affect during the fight? So in my case, as a professional fighter, I can feel that very, uh, very powerful when I train like that. Why? Because in the training, in the fight, I can read. Like I can foresee the movement of my opponent because I'm so conscious, I'm so present, grounded in that moment. Because of that, I can see small little movements and I can react to right, right away. So it means that I can anticipate, I can do everything, I can give everything, everything that I have just because I'm so focused. I think you become more intuitive, right? Because when you stay, stay like in this kind of state, like a big present, you can see everything. Even sometimes your your opponent start the movement, you can feel what the movement is gonna do. You're gonna be more in the flow, right? So, yeah, you you're not gonna push. You're gonna flow everything. You know? That's the the, the the thing that you have to looking for. Flow is more important than push because when, when you talk about pushing, you are have a pressure, but it's not about pressure, it's about to flow everything and let it go, let it go. The energy, the technique, and all these stuff. But do you have any fight that you have in your mind that you be so much present in that moment that you didn't think about what the moon you wanna, your opponent's gonna do it, you just be, just was in the flow? Most of my fights, I was in that stage, but weren't specific when I fight for the belt. Maybe because it was like the, the place that I, I would like to be. I was so focused. I was so like, I could read my opponents. I could see every single little movement that he did on me. And I could anticipate everything just because I was so grounded, which is so important for me. But doesn't matter which professional activity you do, you have to do like that. But sometimes a lot of distractions, a lot of information that you have, too much data nowadays. So you don't have, not even 10 seconds, you can talk to your wife sometimes. Not even, no, 
one minute you can talk to your kids because you are disconnected. You are connected in social media, internet, and everything, but disconnect to yourself. Disconnect yourself. And the most important thing is when you are connected with yourself, of course, you're gonna have a problem as well, but you're gonna be more aware. You're gonna be more like sensitive to, to, to realize what's going on. But I think it's very important to be conscious about even if you're gonna be so present, it's not a guarantee of the good result about the fight, for example. No, there is no guarantee outcome. Never. There is a guarantee of your best. The only guarantee. The best in the order that you can see. Correct? Yes. The only guarantee that I have is I can give my best when I'm very grounded. But because you cannot foresee life, life you cannot predict. You can have any predicting life. You just have to live your life. But when you focus, when you surrender yourself in a good way, you can just wait for the best of yourself. Show me to how you do this. Like every morning you practice that and how long that you do that, usually. Besides the activity that daily basis that I just mentioned to you guys, so I sit still every day and I put all my focus on my present moment. I try to feel my hands, sit place on my thigh, and also use the, the, the breathing. The, the breath is so important. For example, when you inhale the air, you have imagined that your belly is a soccer ball. Let's pretend that soccer ball. Soccer ball. Ah, soccer ball. So when you put the air, the ball is gonna you're gonna inflate the ball. When you take the air off, out, off, you're gonna decrease the ball, right? You're gonna use that in your belly. Same thing. You're gonna be here. Relax. So your belly button is going to touch your spine when you breath out. Inhale by your nose and put your belly inflates. As much time you spend doing that exercise, for example, when you inhale the air, you gotta take time, you gotta enjoy it. Take, put the air inside, inhale the air, and take like, if you can, like six, seven, eight, ten seconds, inhale the air. Then hold a little bit for a while, like, eight seconds, then exhale there, and take time to do that. Enjoy the moment, enjoy the process. And try to put your belly butt, belly butt, to the spine, to the spine. It's more about the feeling, no? it's not about the thinking, it's more about the feel, as your as your mentions at the beginning, how few do your hands, how heavy your hands on your legs, how the air comes inside of your body and you exhale. So it's more about this. And the more you practice, the more you feel better. Thank you, Yoto. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Please, guys, if you have a chance, check MatidaVirtualDojo.com. Thank you. See you guys next time. Peace.